Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here, bringing you another video. So we're back for some more Kaiju Number Eight, Episode Four. Here, last episode is absolutely fantastic. We left off on a very interesting note. Uh, the Defense Force examination, the second round of it, has begun. Our boy Kafka, Ichikawa, and Kikoru are participating together with a bunch of other examinees. Their job is to neutralize a bunch of Kaiju's, and unfortunately, in the process of that, um, Kafka got hurt. His leg is broken, and uh, the Kaiju that attacked him was about to hit him with the final blow. But in that process, Kikoru saved him and was very smug about. About it <laughs> uh but yeah in that moment hoshina suggested to him that uh he should drop out since you know he's not really fit to continue with the exam uh but he didn't give up and in that moment he summoned 0.01 percent of his combat power for the kaiju suits that were given and i don't know if that's gonna be enough to get him through this whole examination i guess we'll have to see but for me personally i feel like he's just definitely gonna have to use his kaiju power and a couple of you in the comment section brought up an interesting point which i totally understand uh you know the suits that they have the kaiju suits are monitoring uh, their bodies, you know, and the status of them. So if Kafka was to use his kaiju abilities, it would be able to detect, uh, you know, that he's done so. And of course, Hoshina and Mina would know about it. But I mean, he can only keep his secret for so long before they find out, right? So anyway, I don't know, man. And I do understand also that, you know, Kafka doesn't want to use his kaiju abilities to cheat. He wants to use his own, you know, abilities. Uh, but bro, he has those abilities for a reason. Why limit yourself when you can save people with these abilities that you've been given? When your base human strength isn't enough, you know? But anyway, that's just my take. But I'm really excited to see exactly how he's going to get out of this and whether his combat power will increase as we keep going since it's now 0.01%. Hopefully, it'll get to like at least 10 uh but anyway that's enough for the recap from me guys without any further ado let's jump right in Episode 4, Fortitude 9.8, okay. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> that must be so painful. <laughs> nah, I don't think he's good, bro. <laughs> Let's go. He's not gonna leave him behind. Ichikawa is a W friend, bro. So you yet that Omaiwa. So you kotonara. Loving the music, by the way. <laughs> nice sir, Oshina, bro. You guys told me the voice actor is Muchiro's voice actor, right? W casting. <laughs> Cause he's carrying him. <laughs> Oshina wants to pass them because he, they're entertaining him. <laughs> Sheesh! Those kaiju suits have increased his speed. He's moving crazy. Damn. God damn, Kikoru's going in. Nah, bro. What? Bro, she's a solo act. One man army right here. What? We're not even using guns anymore? God damn, Kikoru. Yo. Nah. Was she taking down the last one? Or oh, she's heading for the big one, the Honju, okay. Nah, bro. She's too good. What? Nah, bro. You got it, Kikoru. You got it, bro. She's too good. That was so badass.
Nah, she cooked. She's too good. By herself too, bro. It's over! <laughs> Ichikawa and Kafka didn't even get to do anything. That's what I'm saying, bro. Damn! She's too good. Too fast. Combination undone. <laughs> Yeah, she took most of the burden, taking down everyone. Director? Director Shinomiya? I wonder who her parents are, bro. Definitely comes from a rich family. Hey man, if I was her dad, I'd be proud, bro. She cooked. What the hell? There's another one? Damn! Yo! It got her in the chest! Oh my god, okay. <gasps> they're all getting back up? What? And they're changing color too! What the hell? What is going on? Oh, poor Kikoru, bro. It aimed for her heart, that's crazy. If she didn't have the suit, it would have been a wrap. That's what I'm trying to find out. It can talk? Wow. Did the suit heal her? Is it just like Kafka, probably? It's got eyes, too. What the hell? Damn! It got her again. It's like shooting bullet-like things at her. Could it just be like Kafka or is it just like a sentient kaiju? My money's probably on answer number two. And it's just gonna peace out like that. Okay. Six point five. Six point four. My bad. A whole company. Mina? Oh, I see, so both of them. Y'all told me that Hoshina is like the Levi of this anime, right? Can't wait to see him in action. All the kaijus are back up. Oh man, poor Kikoru. He's not looking too good. What the hell was that kaiju, bro? Now this suit is coming in clutch. What's oh, stopping the bleeding, I see. Not necessarily healing her. Oh man. Kaido? I know that voice anywhere. Damn! It just smacked her. Now nah, she's not looking too good. Her dad's voice is Kaido's voice? I recognize that voice and anyway. he also does Kurama in Naruto. Now somebody's saving her. Papa! <laughs> Oh, I guess she, she didn't have that kind of relationship with dad, I guess. Why am I not surprised? Kaido is the voice. He didn't care for his son in One Piece either. <laughs> Brooke? We got some One Piece voice actors in here. I didn't even know that the butler was Brooke. That is great. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, her mom died, I see. So it's just the dad. Aww. Damn, bro. Yes. 
Her dad was pretty strict, bro. Calm down, Kaido. <laughs> Her arm is done. What the hell is going on? What did that kaiju do to these other kaijus, bro? Condensing energy for an attack? At this point, Kafka really has to use his power, I swear. Nah, Kafka. She's gonna be saved. Bro, it's charging up a Cero! It's about to hit her with a Cero, bro! Nah, Kafka, come on. Nah. Nah, Kafka, come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I knew it. Let's go. I knew he'd have to use his power, bro. Oh, let's go. I'm locked in. Let's go, Kafka. Now she knows his secret. <laughs> it's a hero. Kafka. L -l Let's deal with that later. Bro just smacked it away like it was nothing. Uh-oh. Bro summoning one for all. Uh-oh. Hopefully Mina and Hoshina don't get there in time to see Kafka. 9.8? One of the most powerful- Let's go, Kafka! No wonder the episode is called that. Look at this man. He's calling on all 50 states. United States smash, Kafka. What the hell? Whoa. Yo. Bro, it's taking out. He's taking out its skin with that punch. He evaporated that thing, bro. Look up. They cooked with the animation, bro. That was fire. Oh my god. Nah, his power reminds me so much of Deku's. No way it's coming back to life. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, okay. Woo. For a second. Bro? <laughs> Oh! Was one about to jump her? Nice, Kafka. Aww, you see? His powers come in clutch, bro. Oh, wow. Damn! <laughs> Ichikawa's like, you want to talk? <laughs> Kikuru is just like, oh, she's about to pass out. She must have have a couple of injuries because the suit stops a person's blood, you know, but it doesn't heal them, right? Correct me if I'm wrong about that. Especially about that kaiju that is able to communicate. Brought all these ones back. Yep. When Kafka yeah, saved that little girl. Oh, is kind of, he's piecing it together. I feel like they'll find out eventually. 
何そのさ俺もそっちが話させる先輩のはただの先輩のはただの先輩のはただの先輩のはた Facts. <laughs> yeah, the experience is exciting. Oh, Mina's outside his door? Finally, gonna get to talk. Wow. Understandable. Awesome. 9.8 though? Strongest kaiju in history, as Hoshina said, bro. Crazy. Oh no, Kikoru, you're good. I wonder if she's gonna tell Hoshina about Kafka. <laughs> He's not gonna rat him out. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Will he believe that though? Okay. Okay. Zero. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's like no way there was zero. Bro, how is he just casually using a phone? Who is this? So he is. So it's a guy who's just like Kafka. Or? No way. It's a guy who's on Kafka's crew. Crew. The cleanup crew. What the hell? What a nice. twist, bro! Oh my god! Oh, I'm locked in. This is a good episode. This has to be the best episode so far, bro. Hands down. Are you kidding me? Yo, what a twist. Anyway, here's the thing. Kafka is a human that can turn into a kaiju, right? I feel like it's the other way around for this particular kaiju. It's a kaiju that can turn itself into a human or disguise itself as a human. And uh, judging from how it's expressing itself, I don't think it's too familiar with how human interaction is because the way it was holding the phone and kind of questioning, you know, is this how you hold the phone and all that kind of stuff? I feel like it's fairly new to this whole concept of disguising itself as a human. Um, but the mind blowing thing to me is it's a part of the cleanup crew that Kafka and Ichikawa were working for, which begs the question to me, um, I mean, we did see what its hair looks like. We didn't see the face because they're still hiding it, but I'm gonna have to go back to episode one and two because that's where we got uh, to interact with um, the cleanup crew that Ichikawa and Kafka were a part of. I'm gonna have to look really closely to see if this particular kaiju was in the background, just mocking us, hiding in plain sight, talking to itself in its head, just saying, y'all not even ready for me to appear in episode four. I've just been here the entire time. If it's there, in those episodes what a twist bro that is so mind-blowing to me are you kidding me i'm gonna have to go back and check that out uh moving on to kikoru um kaido's voice actor is definitely the father which is w casting um brooke is also the butler which is w casting we got two one piece voice actors here absolutely fantastic um her backstory is pretty sad given how the dad just cemented the idea into her head to be perfect at everything and not really allowing her the freedom to fail and learn from those mistakes you know because he's too strict with her which in my opinion is not the right way to raise your child bro because now if they were to fail it would really mess them up mentally because the idea of them failing would disappoint you the parent who set these standards for them because they're afraid of disappointing you you know will mess them up you know hopefully you guys understand what i mean you know so that was pretty messed i mean the fact that he never even used to come pick her up from school and all all that kind of stuff i mean w brooke 
you know, the butler for doing that job, but come on, bro. Come on, Kai. But you know what? I'm not surprised. It's Kaido. He didn't even care about Yamato in One Piece either. So <laughs> anyway, um, this episode was solid. Um, Kafka absolutely popped off as well. His power reminds me so much of One for All. It's so cool. Saving Kikoru and then talking to her like a big brother saying, you shouldn't put yourself in danger, man. Please don't do that, you know, which is so cool. So, so cool, bro. Another thing I've learned here is that I guess his Kaiju power doesn't like really heal him because I, I, he had to go to the hospital, you know, for his leg and uh, all the other injuries, you know, to get Pat. I, so I guess his Kaiju, you know, powers is more like of a suit, you know, I guess, you know, it doesn't necessarily heal him, I suppose, um, unless I'm wrong about that. And maybe you guys can feel free to let me know in the comments. But uh, anyway, solid episode. Cannot wait for the next one, especially given how we've left off here. But if you did enjoy my reaction to this episode of Kaiju number eight, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Also, give it a thumbs up for the hype of Kaiju number eight. Fantastic episode this week. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. Link to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. You can also feel free to become a Patreon or channel member by clicking the link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy. And you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos. But until then, guys, please do me a favor. Take care of each other. Have a lovely weekend. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time.